After two years of construction, there's a new elementary school in Henderson County. Students filled the hallways this morning as Spotsville Elementary officially opened its doors. Eyewitness News' Tyler Druin is live in our newsroom with the exciting details that have taken nearly two years to come to life. Tyler? Shelly, students, faculty, and staff have been waiting a long time for this day. After a small roadblock stalled construction in August 2017, the doors opened for the first time this morning, and the excitement was in the air. As buses pulled in this morning for the first time, the faces of students told the story. Nerves, excitement, and the unknown. I'm most excited uh, about the computer lab because it has... It's it's so big and it has it has rolling chairs. The new two-story, $17 million school located in the eastern part of Henderson County can hold up to 700 students with more than 30 classrooms, two computer labs, the district's largest gym, and a parking lot for parents and staff that accommodates 200 cars. It's been a really cool process just watching the building go up. Every morning I'm usually out on bus duty and just to see the kids' faces when they get off the bus when something new came about, especially like when they were putting on the roof and then putting in the stairwells. It's been exciting for the kids. With more than 76,000 square feet of space built outside of a floodplain, new innovative technology adds more security, helping to keep children safe. Students like Chloe aren't quite used to such a large space. I was like kind of nervous being in here because it's so big. I'm not used to having this much space because our house is really little. Teachers say today has been the best day of the school year so far. Now, I spoke with Principal Sarah Esterbrook about an hour ago by phone. She says everything went smooth today and that it was a very successful first day in their new building. The Henderson County School District is planning an open house and ribbon cutting November 19th. Live in the newsroom, Tyler Druin, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tyler.